Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence. I'm so happy to have you guys back. In this video, we are going to be talking more about astral magic, uh, but also astral healing. Now, I will admit, astral healing is something that I've only begun to scratch the surface of, but I have enough information to go on to at least provide you with the basics, and I'm hoping through more research and experimentation that I can eventually make a bigger impact in this spiritual study we have conducted. All right, guys, let's get started. Now, I have given you two meditative techniques. I have given you the boundless void for those who cannot sleep. And I've given you the astral garden for regular meditation. You can use this technique in either one of those. It is your choice. So, uh, recently... Upon walking my dog, I don't know how it happened. I misstepped. I tripped. And I scraped up my both my knees, actually. Both my knees. They hurt a lot. Every time I take a shower, it burns. And just moving my knees, it, it just... Mm -mm. I... I just don't want to walk. So if you have a cut like this, perfect way to start your astral healing. Now, if you have something a little bit more severe, if it's, um, say, a work-related injury that may be a little bit more severe, maybe like a smashed toe, maybe a broken bone... It's going to take a lot of energy before you can make fast healing on those. I will admit that I don't think that I could perform anything like Jesus did and all of a sudden make something heal so severe. I mean, Jesus was said to have made a whole ear regenerate after one of his disciples cut one off of a man. But... With enough energy and enough practice, I believe you can make the now impossible soon to be possible. But we're going to start with the small stuff. Similar to my scraped up knees. So I would continue, um, I would do what I need to do to get into the proper meditative position whether it's the Boundless Void or the Astral Garden, you know, like I said, it's up to you. Now, once you have entered that meditative state, you are going to focus on the... wherever the boo-boo is in question. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say boo-boo because, you know what, I'm just so... I'm so kid-friendly and so very... Uh, politically correct, then I'm just going to say the word boo-boo. All right, so we're going to focus on the boo-boo. Let's just say um, we're going to focus on the knees. But before you can do this, you're going to want to make sure you look at yourself in the astral. Now, the point of this is to feel yourself um, kind of like downloading your spirit into this astral world Almost to the point to where you can barely feel your physical body, but you can feel more of your spiritual self, if that makes sense. Um, basically, you will not perceive the physical reality any longer. You will perceive the astral, uh, the boundless void or the astral garden better than this. And um, I'm going to focus in on my knee. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a chair. And as I've taught you, a chair will be readily available as soon as you think of one in the astral. And I'm going to pull up my knee and I'm going to take a look at the boo-boo. And I will 
most likely still feel its pain, but I am going to slowly bring in energy and I'm going to think of everything I can to heal. And I'm going to pull more healing energy into this, just sucking it in. And I'm going to make this energy like a, almost like a pinkish magenta kind of color. And I'm just going to have it get sucked into the boo-boo. And you're going to, you should slowly feel the energy build up within the wound. And you're just going to focus in on this for as long as you can. And the longer you do this, the stronger it will get. Until you really feel the energy. And then you really just start to feel it. And now if you get exhausted or tired. End the session. At least it's a small cut. So it's really not something that's going to take weeks to heal. A week at best. And, um, but basically you're going to use this opportunity to send healing energy and you're going to be able to see the energy as well, as well as feel it. And you're going to send it towards the wound and you're going to keep doing that for as long as you need to. It may even take you a couple sessions depending on the size of the wound. But um, I have uh, read that the normal meditative time is 30 minutes, which is a minimum. I have not had too many 30-minute ones. I've had a lot of short ones. But if you can make it that far or longer, that would give you extra time to keep <clears throat> sending this energy into this wound to heal it up. Maybe even see it close within your mind's eye. Just see it close and heal itself, restore, and just keep on doing it. Because even if it's able to heal itself within the, uh, the astral and you see it, it's still going to be here in the physical. Now, I know what you're going to think. What's the point of doing this? The point is to send enough energy from the astral to affect the physical to where it will speed up the normally slow healing process that we humans possess. And um, it's something that is going to take a lot of focus. You're, uh, you may not see any big results at first. That's why you need to keep practicing. And uh, I, I know the whole thing is, you know, you, you try not to get wounds too often. And I'm definitely not telling you guys to inflict yourselves with any wounds to practice with. But uh, if there is like maybe a loved one who is willing to uh, help you with this and they have a particular wound uh, and they're willing to assist in your uh, little experiments, that would be also a great way to practice a form of magic healing. And... Um, like I said, it's it's not something that you may see uh, results with right away, but the same thing with usually any experiment, whether it's magical or not, uh, any kind of science, you know, it's always going to take multiple trials before you see any kind of result. This doesn't mean that it's useless or you shouldn't even try, because... Um, the more energy you build up, the more you practice, the stronger you get. And soon enough, you may find that, you know, you can get wounds to heal much faster. I knew a friend who, um, he claimed that he had such abilities. And, uh, I remember one day he had, um, he had a wound similar to mine, uh, cause he, uh, fell down the stairs and he had... He had a pretty decent sized wound on his uh, on his leg, and he he claimed that he's like, oh, it'll be all right. I just need to heal it, and I'm like, what? 
And he's like, yeah, I, I've been practicing, and now I have this ability. I can move blood in my body uh, to the area so that it heals faster. I'm like, really? I'm like, this I have to see. And he's like, well, come back tomorrow, and uh, I'm going to show you. So I did. And lo and behold, the, the wound that was fresh, not not a day ago, had already started massively healing up. So that's what had me convinced that he knew his stuff. He wasn't just toying with me. Now, um, my knowledge and experiment in magic healing and astral healing are minimal, but still, it is definitely an ability worth doing. Now, most people don't think that magic is uh, something that people can use, you know, with such potential as to perform anything like they do in the movies. Well, I beg to differ. It just takes a lot of practice and time and patience. There are uh, reports about um, Buddhist monks uh, who they live high up in the mountains in Tibet and they have so many neat abilities like telekinesis, telepathy, uh, they have the ability to levitate, to balance rocks on top of each other without even trying. They have all these unique gifts and it's because they spend every waking moment practicing their craft in spirituality and they are at their the peak of the spiritual realm. They, they're not like us. They don't get up, go to work, fall asleep, and then do the same thing. They don't watch TV. They don't indulge in the same food that we do. They're very disciplined. And they are... And because of that, they are incredibly powerful. But they use this power for peace. Which is why anyone who joins them, they make promise a vow of peace. Now, all of us who have the regular lives, that's why it's taking so long. Because we weren't born to do this every day. You know, we, we take breaks uh, by watching TV or by eating potato chips or by playing video games. And that's just things they don't do. But this is something that if you really put your mind to it and you work towards it, you will see some kind of result. Now, I'm not saying it's a, something that is definite, but I'm saying if you have the ability to magically heal a wound using you, the energy within your body and the energy of nature and the universe, think of the possibilities. Think of it as like in a video game. Level one, you can heal small cuts and wounds. Level 20, you can heal larger wounds. Level 40, you can heal broken bones. Maybe you can even heal diseases. Level 60, you can repel certain attacks and heal almost instantly. And level 80 to 100, invincibility. Now, I know this is a lot to take in, and I know it sounds like I'm a dreamer and someone who is just outlandish and out there. And, well, I kind of am, and I understand uh, that this is a unique way of looking at magic. I have surveyed a lot of people who practice magic, and when I talk to them about this stuff, they're like, that's not possible, that cannot happen. I'm like, how can you say that you practice magic and you believe in magic? but only believe that is severely limited to only a certain number of things. I like to see this spiritual glasses half full instead of half empty. True, there probably hasn't been a whole lot of people who have been able to master such things. Uh, and if they did, we probably wouldn't see them out in public. We wouldn't see them on the news, you know, unless they were incredibly stupid. But here's the thing. 
if you believe, anything is possible. That's the way the world works. That's the way magic works. And magic is in the world. So therefore, bring these ideologies into logic. Manifest them using this power. And you never know what you can find. Things you never thought you would ever learn or be able to do. All of a sudden, are at your fingertips. Now, I understand, guys, that um, this is a lot taken, and uh, this is a very short video considering my lack of knowledge in this subject. I, I am going to continue studying. I got my books here. I still need a lot more studying to do. I have a lot more experimentation to go through, and believe me, when I have better results, I will definitely make a video about it and help you guys uh, learn this. But until then, that will be the end of this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, put it down in the comment section down below. Um, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you don't miss any of my new videos. And share this video with as many people as you feel will listen. Uh, any people who are spiritual in nature and might look kindly to my type of uh, views of magic and uh, want to spice up their spirituality and uh, cool cats like yourselves. Therefore, have a good day, everyone.